I'm gonna show you how to record your Mac screen with computer sound using a free audio plugin called VB Cable. All right, we're gonna start here on the VB Audio webpage. This is where you download VB Cable. Now, VB Audio makes a lot of Windows audio apps, including the very popular Voice Meter, which is a virtual mixer. But we're interested in the virtual audio cable, VB Cable. And you can see there's a Windows version and a Mac version. And you can see the Mac version is for Intel and M1 Macs. VB Cable is donationware, so it's essentially free. But if you find it useful, you're encouraged to donate by purchasing a license. I'll click on the Mac download button and I'll download the VB Cable Mac driver. Once VB Cable is downloaded, I'll go and find it in my downloads folder. I'll double click the zipped file to unzip it and that unpacks this folder containing three files. I'll double click the readme file to open it up. And you can see that package 108 is compatible with Intel and Apple Silicon Macs, while package 107 is for Mac Intel only, but works on Mac OS 10.10. .10. Well, I'm running a Silicon Mac, so I'll select the PAC 108 disk image and double click it to launch it. Then I'll double click the resulting package file to install VB Cable. Then I'll just follow the prompts for installation. Now it's a good idea to restart your Mac after installing VB Cable. All right, once VB Cable is installed, I need to configure it to record my Mac's computer sound. And to do that, I'll use the keyboard shortcut Command Spacebar to open up Spotlight Search. And then I'll start typing in audio MIDI setup. It auto completes, so I'll just hit return, which opens audio MIDI setup. This is the central hub for configuring audio on your Mac. On this left panel, you can see all the different audio devices, hardware and virtual on my Mac. And at the bottom of the list, you can see newly installed VB cable. I'll select it. And in the right panel over here, I'm gonna check some settings. I'll select input, then select the format menu. And you can see all the different formats that VB Cable supports. So for recording my Mac's computer sound, I'm gonna make sure under 48 kilohertz, I select two channel 32-bit float. 48 kilohertz is the standard audio format for digital video. Then I'll go over and select output, and make sure under 48 kilohertz, two channel 32 bit float is selected. Once VB cable is configured, I'll go down to the bottom of the left column and select the little plus button. And from the menu select, create multi output device. Now you can rename this multi output device if you want to, I'm just gonna leave it as is. But with it selected, I'll go over to the right panel and adjust some settings. Under sample rate, I'll make sure it's set to 48 kilohertz to match VB cables format. That's very important. Then in this list of output devices, make sure your Mac's built-in audio is at the top of the list. Now built-in audio can go by different names on different Macs. It could be called built-in audio or external headphones, which is the mini stereo output jack on the back of some Macs, or it could be Mac mini speakers, or MacBook Pro speakers, whatever hardwired audio outputs you have on your Mac. Now keep in mind, whatever output you do select is where the computer audio will be coming out from. So if you select external headphones, the computer audio will be coming out of the mini stereo jack on the back of your Mac. If you pick speakers, it will be coming out of your speakers. Once you've selected your built-in audio output of choice, and put it at the top of the list, then select VB Cable, so it's second. Also make sure drift correction is checked for VB Cable, not your built-in output at the top of the list. All right, let's say you wanna listen to the computer audio on your AirPods while you're recording. Well, do not select your AirPods as the first item on this list. The process will not work. Instead, Select a built-in audio output, your speakers or external headphones, so it's first on the list, then VB Cable, then your AirPods. 
and make sure a drift correction is checked for them as well. All right, before I close out of Audio MIDI setup, I'm going to right click on the multi output device in the left panel and select Use this device for sound output. And that's it for Audio MIDI setup, so I'll close it. And now I'm ready to record. All right, for my screen recording with computer sound demo, I'm going to record one of my YouTube videos. To record my screen, I'm going to use the Mac's built in screen recorder, Screenshot. And I can open it up by using the keyboard shortcut Shift Command 5. And there's the screenshot interface. Now you can also get to screenshot through QuickTime Player by opening QuickTime Player, then selecting File, New Screen Recording and you'll get the same screenshot interface. With screenshot, I'll make sure record entire screen is selected. You can also record a portion of the screen if you want to. I'll open up options and leave everything as is, except I'll make sure under microphone, I select VB cable. Very important. Now I can record. So to start my recording, I can click on the record button here, or I can just click on the screen. I'm just going to click on the screen to start. And I'm recording. And I know I'm recording because of this little stop button icon on the top toolbar. So I'll go ahead and play the YouTube video, a movie, Keynote, and QuickTime Player. Now you might think of these apps as consumer level toys, even blow. Now to adjust the level of the computer sound, in this case, this YouTube video, I adjust the volume control on the YouTube player itself. And to be honest, the vast majority of videos that I see on YouTube. And when I want to stop recording, I can go up and hit the little stop button on the top menu bar, or I can use the keyboard shortcut, control, command, escape. And there's my screen recording on the desktop. I'll double click it to open it up in QuickTime Player. And I'll play it. My movie, Keynote, and QuickTime Player. Now you might think of these apps as consumer. And there's my screen recording with computer sound, not for serious content. Now one little tip before I go. Let's say I want to adjust the volume of the computer sound I'm hearing through my speakers or headphones while I'm recording. If I try to use the volume controls on my keyboard, I get this icon, which means I can't adjust the volume. To adjust the volume before I start recording, I need to go into the sound output settings and switch from the multi output device to my speakers. And then I can adjust the speaker volume with my keyboard controls. And when I'm finished adjusting the speaker volume, I go back and reactivate the multi output device and start recording. Otherwise, when you're done recording, be sure to switch back to your default audio output.